Hi, I'm Sandra Hawkins, and I want to show you how to use packages in Eclipse to better organize your code, especially for your, your practice code, so you don't end up with loads of projects. So currently what I have so far are two projects, the Hello World and the Variables project. So I'm going to create a third one and move the code into that project and use packages just to organize everything instead. So from the file menu, I'm going to create a new Java project, and I'm going to call this All Code. And uh, just click on next there. Just checking for the create module info.java. I'm unchecking that. If you've an older version of Eclipse, that, that won't be an option. And finish. Now, so I only have two files done so far. This is that hello world and variables. So what I'm going to do up here in the all code project in source, I'm going to right click and create a new package. Now, a package in Java is basically a folder. But if you create a package, as I'm doing now, and you place a code file into it, so the Java file I'm going to put into it, there has to be a package statement in your code um, to match the name of that package. So I'll show you that. So I'm going to call this package Hello World. Uh, common package names might be uh, java.lang or java.io or java.util. So you'll see more of those as we go along and finish. Now, so package is a folder. So what I'm going to do, I have the hello world.java file here. I'm going to drag that from its position into that hello world package. And if I go in there now and double click on it, you will see that because you've dragged and dropped, it will give a package statement at the top, package hello world. And if I comment that out for a second, you will see that my code won't compile. So the declared package of no name does not match the expected package, hello world. So I'm going to do that now. I, sorry, uncomment that. I'm just going to create another package here in my source folder. So right click new package. I'm going to call that one variables and finish. Now there's nothing in that, so it's white, but I'm going to drag up my variables code. So it's going to open that for a second. So the first line of code there, excluding the comment is public class variables. I'm going to drag that and drop it onto the variables package. And now open up that. And you'll see there the very first line at the top now is package variables. So if you physically created a package and you've put a code file into that package, the first line must be a package statement and the name of the package that it's in. So packages start with lowercase letters, class names start with uppercase letters. They don't have to, but that's a naming convention. Now, I can now delete the other two projects there, right click on it and delete, and delete the contents on disk. I think I forgot to do that for the other one, but I can locate it and delete it. Okay, so now when you open up Eclipse, you'll have one project and there's a source folder, and I have separate packages in here. You might find that easier to manage uh, as opposed to multiple projects, but it's just personal choice really.